All right, with all the Ichiban Kujis that came out back to back, it's time to take a little bit of a break on that and go back to Solid Edge Works. As I've said in some of the last Solid Edge Works videos that I've done, I've been in a bit of a redemption arc for the series. Today, we're gonna be doing a fan favorite, Gohan, particularly Gohan in his youth from the Cell games. Just a quick disclaimer, I did not get the Super Saiyan 2 version of this figure, but I only got the Super Saiyan 1. Let's find out if this figure will live up to the goodwill that this series has been running with so far. What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we are going to be reviewing the newest Solid Edge Works figure, Super Saiyan Team Gohan. Like always guys, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring the bell notification so that way you get notified whenever I make a brand new video. I try to upload videos at least once a week. Like the video if you enjoy it and of course comment your thoughts down below in the comment section at the end of the review so we can discuss this figure. Solid Edge Works, man, like, I, I never really know what to expect at this point because it's only been a couple of figures that I have been happy with. Gotenks is the only one that I'm like, wow, this is actually a good figure. Just judging, if he looks anything like he does on this box, I think I'll walk away pretty happy. Without further ado, let's dive into the figure. We'll do some background, some size comparisons, and then of course at the very end, we'll give him a ranking out of seven Dragon Balls. Let's go. This figure is based on Gohan in his Super Saiyan form during his fight with Cell. I believe his pose and likeness are based on the moment he becomes Super Saiyan 2 and walks towards Cell. Solid Edge Works is a new line of figures from Bandai with the intention on showing dynamically posed figures that should be taller than the average figure with a hard edge composition and faithful recreation of the anime. So far, Goku, Trunks, Vegeta, Vegito, and Gotenks have been released. This figure was released in Japan on July 7th, 2022 and will release overseas sometime later this year. The only variation of this figure is the Super Saiyan 2 version that I decided not to get personally. You can find this figure on most sites for about $30. Check out the links in my description to purchase both of these figures. This figure is made of PVC and ABS. He stands at just under six and a half inches. Gohan comes in three pieces, his upper body, lower body, and support. Solid Edge Works might have just solidified itself as a solid series, no pun intended, to keep up with moving forward. Gohan's likeness is perfect. They did a great job at capturing his anime counterpart's expression. His eyes have a little bit of bold around them to emphasize his anger. They shaped his face just right. They added details of subtle scuff marks on his face. And of course, the blood from his wounds is a nice touch. Nice to see some blood on Dragon Ball figures again. Paint and shading are nearly perfect too. There is subtle shading on Gohan's hair, shoes, and skin. If there's any shading on his gi, then it's very subtle. I can't notice it at all. There isn't any shading on his backside, but that's to be expected with non-Ichiban Kuji figures. I like the bright colors they chose, especially on his hair. And once again, I appreciate the fact that they actually painted blood on the figure, which is something you don't see that often in Dragon Ball anymore. Size and scaling are pretty good. This Gohan figure certainly is a little smaller than most. I understand that he's a kid and he should be really small, though I believe I've mentioned in past Solid Edge Works reviews that I would prefer these to be a little bit bigger. Not bad though. Finally, the sculpt is great. I think the hair mold is one of the best parts of the figure. Nice details and no blemishes in sight, which is a surprise since the headpiece is reused for the Super Saiyan 2 version with different hair. I also love the detailed muscles, battle damage, and weight of the sculpt. His support fits snugly around his foot, so I think this sculpt turned out pretty great. Overall, from one of the worst series I've reviewed to now one of my most appreciated budget series, Solid Edge Works continues to improve with their sculpts, 
likenesses, and quality control. This is a great Gohan to pick up if you love the Cell Saga and this character especially for its price. I'm giving this one 6 out of 7 Dragon Balls.